Hi everybody, and welcome to Survival Dads. So today we're going to take a look at this. This is a trauma fix uh, wound dressing. So this is designed for uh, moderate to severe bleeding. So this is bleeding that can be controlled with uh, direct pressure. So this is going to allow you to apply that decent, good, firm, direct pressure um, while you do other things with your hands. So you can't always hold it with yourself. So this is a improved design on the uh, original Trauma Fix uh, Trauma Dressing. Actually comes with what they call a pressure pillow, and I'll be showing you that shortly. So it comes in a few different sizes. This particular one here is 10 centimeters by 18 centimeters, and it cost me four pound seventy nine. So four pound seventy nine, and you could potentially save yourself or someone else's life. So we'll take a look at the outside packaging firstly. So here you have, like I say, the outside packaging. Inside here you have the actual wound dressing itself, which is vacuum packed and ready to go. So if you wanted to save a little bit of space or time, you can actually remove it from this outside packaging and store uh, as it is inside, which I'll show you shortly. So this is nice and easy to get into. You can just tear it. This is nice and thin material here. Um, on the back you do have some very basic instructions simply apply wrap and secure but again i'll show you that later so these have a long nice shelf life this one is 2024 so that's perfect and here you go trauma fix logo there so i'll get it open and i'll show you inside so it's really easy to remove from this packaging you can simply tear here we're pulling these two apart and you can go in and pull it out or if you needed to you just rip it right open and um, get to it nice and quickly. So put that to one side. And here we have the actual dressing itself. As you can see, it is nicely vacuum packed and sterile inside this packaging. So depending on your personal preference or perhaps your SAPs at work, um, they can actually be stored in this configuration if you want to. It does save a couple of extra seconds getting it outside the outside packaging. So we have a tear notch here, as you can see there, and you simply tear and you can get in. You can see the pressure pillow there, and yeah, I think what I'll do now is I'll open it up, I'll show you inside. Okay, so to open, locate the tear notch, open it up, and remove. Here we have the actual dressing itself. locate the wound pad this side towards wound and I'll show you some of the features of it so firstly I'm going to talk about the actual bandage itself so this is a elasticated material so this has uh, two uses really the primary uh, focus of this is to help you apply really good firm direct pressure so as you wrap it round, you can really pull it tight and then wrap that's really going to give you some really good uh, direct pressure there. And also, it allows for some expansion in case of swelling at the wound site. You're not going to necessarily cut off circulation uh, beyond the wound. So a really cool uh, feature there, and one which is really going to make a difference in an emergency. So here we have the wound pad. Super absorbent and super effective at covering that wound. And here you can see the pressure pillow. So I'll show you that there. Let's flip it round. So this is not removable. Um, this is always there. Especially what this is designed to do is to sit directly over the actual wound itself and to basically allow you to get that, that more like direct pressure directly over the wound site. So a kind of cool little feature. Um, not going to be as effective as, for example, a pressure bar on one of the Israeli style dressings but definitely a useful addition for not a lot of extra space. So going further down, as you can see, you have this elastic bandage material going all the way down. And if I locate the end, I have a lot of bandage material here, but I'll demonstrate it to you shortly. You will find, here we go, a securing Velcro component here. So once you get to the end, no need to do any fancy knots, you can simply secure this to the bandage 
and it'll stick, no problem at all. So, really cool little dress in there. It's cheap, it's small, it'll easily fit into a individual first aid kit that you carry on your person, or a more standard first aid kit that you perhaps keep in the workplace, the car, or the home. So, really nice. So all that's left to do is to demonstrate uh, putting it on, and um, yeah, I'll get to that right now. Okay, so for the purposes of this demonstration, the wound is going to be to my upper leg, and I'm simply going to demonstrate how to apply it. So one drawback with this dressing over the standard Israeli is the lack of the loop at the end near the wound pad. So that there on the Israeli there's is like a loop which it can be used as an arm loop to really help with the one-handed application. You can apply this one-handed um, but it's just a bit more fiddly trying to get it up especially to an upper arm. Um, so for this demonstration I'm going to use it on the leg um, but it's definitely a decent dressing just not great for upper arm uh, solo application. Can be done but just not as quick. Anyway let's get to the demonstration. Okay, so here is my a uh, very pale looking leg. <laughs> the sun doesn't normally get this high up. And I'm simply going to demonstrate application. So you're going to take the dressing, locate the uh, pressure pillow here, and you're going to place that over the actual wound itself. So you're going to place that on there. So that's on. Obviously, if the wound is larger, you can simply cover it more. You're going to hold it on and you can use your other hand and you're going to pull nice and tight. So with this elasticated bandage, you're going to wrap around over the pressure pillow and it's simply going to go round and round. So again, with this elasticated bandage, you're going to pull, stretch it out and then wrap. So you're going to go above the wound site below the wound site and over the wound site. And you can really feel that elastic doing this job. Now, when you reach the bottom, you will find the Velcro and you can simply attach it and it will be held securely. Simple as that. So there you have it. That is how you can apply the Trauma Fix Trauma Dressing to a wound. Um, it is a multifunctional dressing. You can use it on an arm, a leg, abdomen, the head. Wherever you have uh, severe bleeding that needs to be controlled fast. So if you're interested in checking out this and other first aid and pre-hospital emergency equipment, head over to Reflex Medical. That's where I got this from and where I get pretty much all of my first aid equipment nowadays. One awesome thing as well is the great people at Reflex Medical have provided you guys with a discount code. Um, simply use Survival Dads in capitals in the coupon code section and you'll be able to get 10% off your order. So already great service, already great products, great delivery. You'll also get 10% off. I think that's pretty neat. So be sure to go over there, check out their Facebook, Instagram and show them some support. So thanks for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Better get this scene too.